Guys and girls, I am streaming again. Um, let me open up Blender, because we're going to do something really interesting right now. We're actually going to delete this, right? Delete. <laughs> and uh, we're going to build the train tracks. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Let's do this. Let's let's look at this. Let's look at press 1. Let's press 1. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go ahead and build train tracks right now. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and build them. Let's find out how to build a train track, actually. <laughs> I'm so serious. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to shift A. I'm going to add a cube, right? I'm going to press a tab mode A right S and then click then G then S then Z no then uh, G S and then Y right oh uh, Y is not working G S fuck G S Y uh, G S Okay. Let's go to object mode. S on the X. Really? S. Why is it not G S? What is? Oh, everything is selected. Whoopsie. All right. So G S on the X axis. That was a really good unique. Why is it not shrinking on the G S Y? There we go. And then S on the X axis. And Nope, and then S on the Z axis. Okay. Okay, pretty thin. It's pretty thin. Uh, we're going to do this because I don't want to actually know. Okay. Seven. Okay. We're at the front view. Front view. Okay guys, my bad. I'm gonna have to close this. Don't save. We're gonna have to open open it again. Okay, we're gonna have to file open. <laughs> Models train, right? So we're gonna have to go shift A, a cube. We're going to have to G on the Z, no, on the X axis over here, right? Then we're going to have to go and press this, then 3, right? Then we're going to have to press S and not in object mode, I mean edit mode, but in object mode, right? Nope, just this. Why is this one being selected as well? Can we 
not have that as it's selected because we have the fucking train selected object mode not have anything selected shift a uh, add a cube right cube 1.0 okay we go here press G on its x-axis move it over here right then we press numpad 3 then we zoom in right then we press S on its x-axis We can use the scroll wheel to resize it if you want. I didn't actually know about that. I am that's curious to me actually. S on his X. Oops. S on his X axis. Uh, we're gonna put it at seven real quickly. S on its Y axis, right? Right. And then I think it's S on its Z axis. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> S on a Z, right? But it's super small. Right? Click this, click three. Right, zoom in. It's actually supposed to be as big, so Z on its, on its Y axis, right? Then it's supposed to be like this. You're supposed to put G and then on its Y axis, right? And then I'm supposed to press S on its Y axis. Then I have to click it. I have to press the dot so I can zoom in correctly. S on its Z axis, thin it up because train tracks are pretty thin. Then S and then X axis to shrink get a little more, right? Then S on its Y axis. Because this is actually the attachment parts. Now we go back to three and we make sure that this is actually the same size almost. Right? Right, so basically what I have to do is make sure this is underneath, so G, right, and then S, scale it up a little, right, press the dot again, and I think it looks pretty good for a train track size-ish. Next, I press play and I watch it. Wait, 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 okay. Now I press 3 again, shift D, Z axis, I mean, uh, X, uh, no, it's Y axis, right? Put it right here, underneath, right? This can go G on the Y axis as well, right here, like that, right? Wait, what? Okay. Next. Okay. Shift D R ninety. Okay. This will form our tie. Then align the tie to the center of the track. X no Y. Wait, okay. Um, R, zero, no, uh, R, z t t t t ninety degree. 
Yes, yep. Wait, scale it on the x axis, I think. No, scale it on the. Oh, the axis what? 90 degrees. What the fuck? This will form our tie. Wait. So I click on this, Shift D, then I put Z, R, 90, Enter. Why is it rotating the wrong way though? G on the Z, X, Y axis, right? Put it right here for right now. Okay. Oh my god! Sometimes. I did that wrong, I did that wrong. Put along the Y axis on the Z axis 90 degrees. This will form our tie. Then align the tie to the center of the track. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I fucking need to get over here. Alright, so basically what I have to do is I have to rotate R90, right? R90, okay. These two have to be like that. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> no, they're not supposed to be like that. Okay. And 90. No. Zero. No. Zero. Why is it? Zero. Zero. Okay. X, uh, Y is supposed to be zero, so zero. Then zero. And then the Z is supposed to be 90. Okay. 90. And then this is supposed to be 90. This one is supposed to be zero. Okay. Now I. Nope. Give me a Z. I think it's the Y. Yep. Um, command Z two times, then G on its uh, Y axis, and then and then I press this, and then press one. No, I press three. No, it's actually seven. And then mm, it's not that bad. Not that bad. This is supposed to be. Yep. Let me press one. Okay. Shift. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think that's correct. Now, if I did it correctly, this should be the same exact size in object mode. I think I have to object right and then all of it can I think if I press G it can all move correctly by itself okay we press one and press G bring it down to tracks right and then if I press this, in theory, it should match up. Yep, now if I press... Oh my god. <laughs> no, I can't do it again! <laughs> Let me do it again! Alright, click, and then click. And then it should be train tracks. I just have to texture it, and then it should be good. Right? Yeah, that looks good. Press enter. Press seven. No, press. Uh, t -t -t I think it's yes. And then I press G again on the Y axis, and then I press this. Hmm. Maybe this eyes can be a tiny bit bigger, right? And then I move it. 
Am I moving it? I'm not moving it right now for some reason. Okay. G. No. God damn it. Missing an armature? Um, okay. Fuck it. We're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna press G and we're gonna move this correctly. Okay. 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 Enter. Okay. Next, we're gonna press seven. No, it's three again. My bad. Gonna do this again. G. Enter. And then we see if that's the same. Um, okay, one is good. Three is semi good. I mean, they don't look perfectly even, but they're fine enough. Uh, this is mm, fine enough, and then that's fine enough, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's fine enough. I think I made the tracks. So I would file, save as. Right, this is train, train with. Model. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Uh, give me one second. I have to. Give me the wire. Give me the wire. No. Okay, whatever. Give me a second, guys. Nice. Alright, uh, let's see, okay, if I'm doing this correctly now, I should have train tracks. I should have train tracks, which I think I have to object or combine all of them to together. So I think what I gotta do now, because I have the train tracks, yeah, because I have the train tracks now, I built the train track, which is basically a very basic train track, super basic. Um, what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to make a new one, uh, copy paste it, and combine the tracks into one object. Uh, I have no idea how to physically do that correctly um let's see if i can like you know um g no you know what we're just gonna g okay g i think move it Keep it in material preview. Uh, G, Z on the Z axis for right now. Uh, we have to. I don't know how to combine these into one physical object. Parent. Uh, how do I. Because I want to combine these together and just make it one object. Hmm. I do this one, two, three. No, it's 
So what if I just do G? Oh, it is. It's one object now. Good. Good, good, good. That's good. And if I really want to unlink it, I can just click. Um, yeah. Or I can just go here. Yeah, and then I can click unlink. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Let me not mess with that. Um. So I could do this, but if I move this, it's still combined. I don't know how to unlink it now, but eh. I physically don't know how to unlink them. I don't know how to clear parent. Is it? Where's clear parent? Oh, okay. Alright, good, good, good. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Parent. Clear parent. There we go. So, okay, good. Good. I keep forgetting how to do that one thing. Holy shit. Alright, so that's the train tracks. This is done. The train track. Now I just have to like, basically shift D and then move it over. Fuck! <laughs> no, no, no. This It's not an actual object. I have to still shift D it. And then technically I can move it around, yeah. It's not, like, if they're not a physical object together. They're still... They're not one object. <sighs> this is stressing me. I think snap. Is it snap? It's not snap. Um. <laughs> okay. I might have some weird train tracks, actually. Some weird... Yeah, I might make some super weird ones, but... Let's keep it as the one for now. So I got the train and and I got the train tracks now. So this is good. Yes, I'm still doing this, Malcolm. I can't play anything for today. I'm going to be doing this for the next like 16 hours. Ow. Cracked my neck. I mean, I'll probably play Rainbow for an hour. I'm going to be up all night, so I'll, pl I'll probably do one hour of rainbow. One hour of gameplay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I stopped for like two hours. Um, JB, I guess, I guess you're my... Yeah, you're my classmate. I was like, wait... <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Uh, what what can I do with the train? Because I gotta, I gotta make, I have, okay, uh, d d d control V. I do still have the house copied. If I click this, I still have the house model. I just have to take off the stupid texture for some reason. I don't know why it's there. Um, why is the, no, that's because it's connected to the cubes, of course, right, uh, control V, G, move it over here, um, why is the texture not tab? That's why. Uh, remove. There we go. Now if we click tab. There we go. Now the house is pretty good. That's the house. That'll be like the basic freaking town. I don't know how I'm going to texture it. 
Uh, so we got the three models. We got the, the house, we have the train tracks, and we got the train. Now I just need to make the train station, but the train station is going to be a pain. Uh, we'll file, we'll save as, we'll do with train track, with tracks, and house model. Models. Save, save. Okay. So I don't know what to do now because I'm not that creative. I have no idea what to do now. Um, okay, I can make the houses. I can make a village real quickly. I'm gonna have to make the dirt road or some type of road correctly. I have no idea how that's gonna work. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I like this is physically why I'm. This is why I'm taking forever because I have no idea what to do. I have to log into the website as well and download character models and put them in the world. Uh, I could build a basic ass road, I think. And then grass, or no. Mm. What can I do? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do Control C, right? I'm gonna go File, New, right? General, don't save, right? We're gonna X and delete that, right? We're gonna press 1, no. Uh, we're gonna be like this, right? We're gonna go and shift A. Whoa, not that. Shift A. Whoa, is that sh which one was that? Shift. Don't see. We're just gonna open it again. <laughs> we're just gonna do it again. I think it should pop up. Yep, good. Uh, we're gonna X, I shift X, I think, no, it was shift, shift 2, shift W, shift E, shift R, shift T, shift D, C, X, Z, which one was it that did the, you know what, no, forget it, um, okay, let's, let's do this somehow, um, Ooh, this is gonna be challenging. Control V, right? Where is it? The train tracks right there. Good. Control Z. Um, how are we gonna build this? Because I have to build like a stairway an array modifier. Uh, oh yes, yeah, right. I could do that. Where is it? Where's that again? I forgot where to do that. Fire array modifier. Uh, uh, was that supposed to happen? I barely did the arrays. Wait, let me just add modifier array. Um, um, let me let me just keep it like that for now. Fuck it, we'll f we'll fix everything when we actually need it. Uh, okay. Shh, sh 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 go back to cube. Cube, you're gonna be the most important thing right now. You're gonna be my um, track system or stairways. I think it might be stairways. Yeah, I'm gonna make a stairway. So what I have to do is press. Let me get above it. Seven, right? And then I have to press G, S, uh, Z axis. It's gonna have to be like for now, then I'm going to have to press G, S, and then on the Y axis, it can be like, 
maybe that much, and then uh, G S X X's, and then if I press one, it can probably be. Hmm, well, the train is gonna be kind of big, so. So this is going to be curious as to how I do it. Mm, and I'm going to have to do smoke particles, which is going to be another annoying thing. Uh, that, the smoke particles, there's something that I have to make up my own. Look up a few tutorials on that. That's going to be another three hours to do. The train already took an hour. Um, let's see if we're going to put this up here. Okay. Press enter, we're gonna press G S, we're gonna put it on the X axis and we're gonna shrink it down to about here. G move that over. Uh S on its X axis. No, no. What is this? What? BL2? What is BL2? Huh? What? Huh? Borderlands 2? Huh? You know what? Oh, yeah. He's he's on Borderlands 2. He's playing Borderlands 2. And without me. Nice. Whoa, he me. Uh, okay, so... This needs to be a tiny bit smaller. Not that small, but small enough. I guess that's good enough. Um, okay, let's see. Now I have to do this, so I have to shift D, bring that up a little. By a little, I mean literally all the way. No, we'll do it halfway. Right, enter. Right, now we can press, um, G. Hmm. No. What I think I have to do is combine it. So G. And then I have to let it clip like that. That is not how I want it. Alright, so it's going to be like this, right? And then I have to. G. I know I can just make one object into a stairway, but I am just going to take it the long way and just do object by object and size them up correctly. G on the Z axis with an S. Or no, I can just do tab and I can just do face this G on the Z axis and bring it down. Enter, then it's good, right? Why is one bigger than the other? Though, like, this should not be. Dun, ba -dum, dun, 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 dun. Is it bigger than the other one? This is gonna be annoying. It is bigger for some reason. They have to be same level floor height. Uh, G, enter. Let's see right now. And this also has to have no spacing, so G. Mm, enter, and we'll see how it looks. G Enter That should be good now, right? That's good on that side, but it's probably gonna be shitty on this side Oh, nope It looks to be okay Yep, that looks fine 
All right. And I'm going to save this one into the world maps because this is technically designing the world, so I have to put it in the world folder. It's, I guess it's coming along okay. I, I mean, I got another 20 hours to do this stuff, so I can take my time. I do have to be in the school on Monday to do the audio files. But I think I could just cheat it and do it on my phone. Probably. Maybe. I'm not sure. 100%. I don't want to risk it fully. Uh, Shift D. Then we get a G. And then. I think it's Y. Yeah. Okay. Enter, and then I press one, G, and I don't know how many stairs I should do it. Probably six stairs, because the trees are gonna be kind of small as well. Next, I press tab, and I go. Into, uh, d -d 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 what is this? Control click, right? Control click. Yep. If I had it on this, control click, nope, it wouldn't do it. Okay, now I press G. <laughs> um, wow, what did I just do wrong there? Oh, okay, so I click this, and now, yep, okay. That's what it was. <laughs> cool. I think that's the same size now. Mm. No, it is not. So G. It's never gonna be perfect, is it? Oh, you. F Fucking killing me here. You're really fucking killing me here. Why do you gotta be a little bit sideways, man? Nope. nope. Tab, object mode, this, press G, and then. can't tell if that's because the thing is just more huh oh my god oh my god my freaking I forgot I broke the freaking scroll wheel button I have to press down really hard um that actually might be because of the freaking sizing that it does that Huh. Really? Is it because of the sizing? I think it's because of the sizing. Hold on. I'm gonna do this again. Okay. If I don't do sizing, it is basically perfect. Yeah. So. G. And then I just do this. G. I, I really don't have five okay. Press the one. Christian, I really don't have five oh my god! Hey, hey, wow, guys! Do you hear what I have to deal with in the background for about six hours of my life every day? Oh yes, a 14-year-old kid talking in the background every day as I do either studying for homework, for math, uh, M MAT 120 or something. Oh, oh, every little thing. I have to hear him talking and going, Oh, wow, Christian, blah, blah. Like, it, it just gets annoying. It gets you, it drives you crazy. And this is angling so wrong. Why is it doing this? Down. Enter. 
shouldn't be anything wrong with it. Yeah, look, it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Oh man, I I hate modeling, building things on Blender. Unity just like Unity makes it really easy to snap things. Like it, it's auto snaps. It, like oh click click click, it's done. Like you want to make a stairway, it's it's done within five seconds. Which is what I like about Unity. This Blender is really annoying, man. I mean, it's it's worth the effort because the models are ten times te better looking than um than Unity, but it's still annoying. Extrude the bottom face. Uh, extrude, extrude, extrude. Which one was the extrude? Yep. <laughs> the side's still fucking chosen. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop. Click. Oh. Click. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now we're just gonna extrude it on the z-axis. Click. It still looks like it's clipping for some reason, but we'll let it be. It might just be my TV now. I don't have a good TV. It's like 720. Or, or no. It's 1080i graphics instead of... um. 720. I guess the extruding fixed it more than it should, but the side was also chosen, so rip. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, um, click, click, no, uh, t t I'm in a object mode, yes, click, and sh shift D, and then G, and then move it over. I don't want it to clip, but I want it to be like just at so enter. I guess I can go in edit mode now, and I could just do this um, face, and then E. <laughs> oh boy. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger, so E. No, you know what? We'll just do that again. So it look better? Enter. I know this one is clipping, so I have to object mode. I have to press G and move this one over a bit. Is that better? That looks better, better, better. It looks it looks good. It looks okay. I mean this is an outdoor train station, technically. Like it's gonna have nature on the sides and and it's and built houses right in front of it. And it's like a it's like an old time train. It's like an old time city, like back in the nineteen fifties and sixties, you know? No. But actually nineteen twenties and nineteen 10 yeah that that generation because 1940s and 50s was when the MTA train station was made and more modern trains were starting to be made without using steam anymore yeah yeah I know my history I should know <laughs> I should know my history I was forced to learn it all Uh, let's see. Shift D. Move it over as well. Boop, 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 boop. It's pushing away for some reason. Yeah, it's pushing away. What is. Hold on. Three. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so annoying to zoom in and out, man. I really wish the navigation buttons would stay automatically, but then it's going to ruin my scroll wheel navigation. 
and that's another issue that I have to deal with. Uh, I didn't duplicate it right. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, Shift D. So I can press G. Uh, I have to press it on the X axis. No, on the Y axis. Yes. Uh, clipping. No clipping. One. Enter. I can zoom in. Just check real quickly. You know what? If I zoom out more. It goes quicker. Hmm. Extrude that back face. Just extrude that back face, and then the top step. Oh yeah, yeah. I completely forgot I could do it like that as well. <laughs> I'm taking the long way because I know I have plenty of time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, tab, this, extrude, press up. Does it look good? Enter, three, I think, five. Uh, it's a little uneven. For these two, it's a little uneven, but I guess that's fine. I could probably do. Uh, if I click five again, I could probably do something like this real quickly. Uh, I cannot actually do anything. Why? Okay, click. Why can't I? Hmm? Hello? No. Cube three. Cube two. I have to do that. And then. Why can I not? Okay, we're going to object mode. A, and then click off. Okay, now we go here to this one. Go to edit mode. That's why. <laughs> click that. And then I could probably, maybe press 3, I could probably E, right? No. No, I could just Command Z. I can just do it with this one. Great, I have to go into object mode every time. Uh, boop. E, and then that looks better. Object mode, press this one, edit mode, press the face, press 3, and then E, and then extrude a tiny bit, and then enter, and now it looks kind of good, kind of better, it's still uneven, I'm never gonna be able to even things correctly, but I mean, it's it's okay. It's it's chill enough. It's not like it has to be like you know a triple A game looking graphics and triple A game looking beauty. <laughs> it doesn't even need to look realistic, but I'm forcing myself to try and make it look real. <laughs> um. Okay, back to object mode real quickly. I can do what again? Let me see what you said, cause. I forgot. I can just extrude that f back face. Yeah. Okay. That's what I could have done. Yeah. Tab mode. Oh, fuck. Do I just press L? No, I don't want to press L actually. Let me cancel that. Um, this one's new. Shrink and flatten. I know that this is. I know this one is in 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 uh, Blender 2.8 2.82 yeah 2.82 cuz I'm on the newest one. I'm not on 81 anymore. I don't see that on 2.81. Uh click 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 click. E and then press over. 
think that's good enough, right? Enter this E and then press up. One no. uh well one one helps me out a little bit. See this is a little uneven, it's like pushed over a tiny bit. That's fine. That's fine. I hope it doesn't corrupt on me again, because that'll be piss. Uh, one, two, three, that line is the light line, is it? Yep, okay, I was going to say, why is that line there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is good enough? I just have to extrude them a little more? Yeah, I just have to extrude that a tiny bit more because it looks a little too small. Okay. Mm, yeah, that looks good. Matter of fact, number seven. L yeah. Uh, no, number six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, number six should be way bigger. So, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keyframes here. E, and then do this. If I press shift, nope. Doesn't extend it. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I think this is going to be the pathway of sort. Probably, maybe. Uh, we'll do it until it gets to the next cube, which is in 3, 2, 1. Enter, press 1, no 3, no it's 7, right? Yes, 7, and then it is... No, we'll leave it at that. See, this messes up my freaking thing. Yeah, it messes up the scroll wheel when I do angles at certain certain angles. It, it'll ruin how the moving is actually supposed to be. This is left. This is right. Left. Left is okay. Left is right for me. Right. It turns to the right, and then right is left. Okay. I have to remember that because I keep thinking, oh, I could just push left and it goes left. I have to shift for it to do it correctly. Uh, that looks pretty good though. Now, I think what I could do is grass, uh, trees and grass over here, trees and grass over here, right? And then a dirt road right over here. And then the house is on this side, right? And then the train tracks right here with the train. And then I'm basically done with the whole thing. All I would have to do is just animate the train going forward with keyframes, and the keyframes is sort of simple. I mean, it's the, the auto keyframe is just the auto keyframe makes it the easiest thing ever. I, I mean, that's the only thing that I wish can be on Unity when making animations, which it probably is. I'm just using an older version, but um, yeah, this this is. This should be easy. This should, I should be done in like four hours. Tops. Tops and then textures and then I should be good. Uh, whew. Now what though? That's the main question. Grass. I need to make grass. <laughs> okay, wait. I need to object all of these together. Uh, you know what? A. They're not tab. Forget about the light. Can we forget about the light? Thank you. Uh, okay, how do I how do I make them into a object again? Into one object without having to do the whole Oh wow, my YouTube channel recommends one of my other videos. That's interesting. I like that. 
uh, how do I object these without having to unlink them again? I don't want to do it. You know what? I'll just object parent and object. I'm going to have to unlink them later or something. Uh, please tell me the lighting is not... Oh, fuck me. Fuck. Okay. That, that's a rip. That's a... Uh, unlink. This should be good now. No, it's still linked! How do I... Oh, fuck, man. Why was the light still attached? How do I... Okay. Light. Move over there. Okay. This. Come over here. Is it all connected? It's all attached. Okay. Control Z. What? Oh. No, no, but... How do I... I don't want to... I don't want to parent them, man. I don't want to parent them. I know there was another way that he taught us to, or might have told certain kids how to connect the objects without parenting to make them into one object. I'll just, forget it, I'll just do this. Oh, does it not pop up? Oh, it doesn't pop up my Steam notifications, I think. Or does it? Can you see the Steam notification? I don't think you can. Nope. I don't think you can. That's that's a good thing. Cool. I did not know OBS does that. That's another thing that I'll have for my streaming setup. Hey! <laughs> uh, okay. Object. Uh... I guess I'm gonna put them as an object. Did it just come? Okay. Go to edit mode. Object. You know what? We press three, and I could just click on all of them. See, for some reason, it's clicking on the world. Alright, the light needs to... Okay, I think... I think that's how I do it. Right, two, three, four. Oh, and then normal cube, and then... View area... Where is it? I, I'm just gonna right click parent and object. Fuck it. Okay. And then the light is good now, right? Yes, it is. And if I press G, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, command C as well, just in case. But we will file. Save as. Um, what are they called? Um, train stairways right so we have the train with the train with tracks and then tracks and then a house model okay stairways save okay so that's a plus so now we got the stairways done oh man okay um what next what next I know I have to do the grass. The grass is gonna be annoying. And I have to put a plane. That's gonna be annoying as well. Okay. Fuck it. Uh, file. New. General. Okay. We can X and delete that cube. Shift A. We can put a, a plane. But I don't know how big the plane will be, so... For now, 
just make it that big, right? And if we go on a camera, uh, render image. I don't think you could see the render of an image, which rendered kind of quickly. Wow. Oh yeah, you can't. <laughs> okay, Malcolm. Okay, Malcolm. That's funny. Coke gaming. That's funny. Imagine. It took 1.24 seconds to um, render an image. That's kind of scary. Well, you really can see the image. Wait. Now you can't see my... Oh, okay. Now you can. Oh wow. Oh wow, hold on a second. <laughs> hold, hold on. Open, don't save. Uh, let's go to train real quickly. Let me test this because I didn't realize how quick this actually was. Uh, we're gonna bring this up a lot. Um, we're gonna end it at around not that many frames, right? File. We're gonna go to uh, save as. We're gonna go to disk, local disk E. Uh, final project. Uh, we're gonna new folder, and it's gonna be called. Oh wow! You can see all my files. That's kind of scary, actually. I might have to end the streams. No, actually, you can't do anything to the files, so it's okay. Um, hmm. Do I name it frames? I guess I'm gonna name it frames. Enter. Train. Okay, so for me to do something like this, because I want to see how long it takes to render just this train moving. So basically, put this at zero. Uh, we go to object mode. Let's have it at rendered. Okay, no, just the train. <laughs> the train is one object, I forgot. See, I wonder how long this is going to take because um, JB, um, cla my classmate, I'm just going to call you my classmate for right now. I don't need to say your name on stream just in case someone tries to do something. Um, I, want, I don't actually know how long my PC will take to render things. I have 3.6 gigahertz of 3.8. It's overclocked, so actually 3.6 gigahertz of 3.8 for a 2013 PC is kind of expensive during the time. Because there's only st gigahertz for computers can only go up to 5 gigahertz as of right now, unless you overclock, and then you're going to have like some super, super advanced cooling system for it to go higher because I don't see laptops even being able to go past 5 but um yeah I want to see this render so uh, insert keyframe location location scale right and then click this will go all the way over to around that many, right? Okay, this can be zoomed out. Click record. And then G on its x-axis. Right? And then over here I can put 
G on its x-axis over there and then if we go ahead and bring it back to there it should render pretty quickly should maybe this is a test I'm very worried <laughs> I am actually very freaking worried for my PC alright so is it it is moving so oh no is this how sl <laughs> is this how slow it's gonna be when I actually render it on my other world on the actual design no it's because it's so far apart so it has to render it like that move the camera as well oh yeah yeah hold on forgot about moving the camera. Uh, I can just parent the camera with it, can't I? I can click zero, click this, whoa, wait, 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 click, and then click, right, and then click, and then view, and then lock, and then uh, parent object, right? Uh, this can be insert keyframe location rotation scale wait is the camera following? I don't think it's following how do I make it follow again? I gotta go to here no we gotta unparent them real quickly so this is how do I do it? Keyframe the camera, right? Okay. Uh, cameras were never the specialty when it comes to this shit. No. That's obviously from my demonstration during class. Uh, this, so this location, rotation, scale, right? And then if I click this, and then I click this, and then, uh, yeah. object. Did I do that right? I probably did not do that right. I didn't do that right. How do I do it correctly? Ah, oh, you wouldn't parent. Alright, let's just... <sighs> control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go here. Lock camera. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. We'll just call this insert keyframe location rotation. Um, what? Okay, that's why. Insert keyframe location rotation scale, right? And then I move this over to to this. to this, right? And that means I have to move the camera G Nope, I have to move it over to here Right? Okay And if I click this Right? And I gotta lock it one more time It should follow the train, maybe? I mean, I'm just gonna add like thousands of cameras if it really doesn't follow the train speed correctly. It's not like it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> oh. The train isn't moving now. Um. Unless. Oh yeah, it's just moving way quicker than the train. Alright, so this is fine. It's just moving way, way quicker than the train would. That's fine. See? Yeah, it's just moving way quicker than the train. I just want to see if you guys can see the rendering. So, render, animation. No, we have to go to... 
here, is it? No, over here, and then we have, oh my god, over here, then we have to click this, images, why are there a bunch of images? I don't know what those are. February 23rd of February 2020. Wow, that's that was before the midterm. Maybe I don't know. Uh, let's see, models, frames. Uh, we can name this. No, we can accept, right? And then it has to be a FFM peg, right? 24. Now we'll put it at 30 frames because I'm pretty sure 24 frames isn't what he wants. If it is, then oh well. I don't really give a shit. He can deal with the 30 frames. <laughs> End frame. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Everything should be good. And then I guess I render animation. Let's see how quickly this is going to take. Oh my god, it's zoomed in. Let me cancel. Cancel. Why is it like that? G can be over here. Now I can be insert keyframe, location, rotation scale, render animation okay two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's taking not even a millisecond per frame uh it's taking zero zero point six three milliseconds per frame you guys cannot see this for some reason um Give me a second. Add game capture. Okay. Is it Blender Render? It's Render. I think it's Render. I think you guys should be able to see it in a second. You guys cannot see it. I think. What the hell? You can't see it, right? Or is it just my end? Yeah, you can't see it. Hold on. Hold the phone. We're gonna render that again. Render animation. There's probably so many fucking fo files right now of the same thing. Uh, you game capture, capture, okay. So I did the render. What if I do this one? Wow, you really don't see it. Why can't you see it? Alright, well, I'm going to tell you how, how quick it's doing it. It's doing it zero zero dot dot zero zero dot six four to six nine seconds milliseconds. Oh, yeah, I'm on frame. Oh, it's popping up just barely. Yeah, so it's it's rendering the things pretty quickly. I should be done within like 10 minutes to get a thousand frames. Yeah, within 10 minutes a thousand frames should be done. That's basically how quick it should go. Not bad, actually. Not bad. The camera angles, though, I don't know how to fix them. I physically don't know how to fix the camera angles. Oh, I'm gonna have bad angles. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have bad angles. Animation. Yeah, I'm really gonna have bad angles the whole time. Because I have no idea. No, I click Z and it... Yeah, 
and then I click R on the Y axis and then it would do it But if I render image, it's like so zoomed in. It doesn't look like the same. Okay, that does not look the same as that. Maybe it's the perspective. I gotta get this right before I do anything. Uh, how do I do? How do I change this perspective? View. Uh. How do I change this pers perspective? That's not it. I don't know how to change the perspective of the camera. I really, like, I don't use the cameras, man. Like, I hate using cameras on Blender. This is one, th like, these are, these are a couple things that I hate about Blender is that it doesn't pre-render a camera for you. Like, yes, I can see this, but it doesn't pre-render an image to let you actually know what it looks like. Uh, which one is it? Tool. Scale. What if it's... One, right, instead of that. I'm so confused how I work the perspective only. Has to be the perspective. Like, I don't know what to do with the perspective. Yes, uh, it is the same. Don't worry. I. Because that looks weird. I don't know. It's going to look wonky to me, to be honest. Uh, it will look exactly as you see it on cam once you import it to Adobe. Mm, I don't know. See, hold on. Render image. That's how it looks. I don't think you can see that, can you? Or am I just... I am that far behind in the stream. Holy crap. I don't think you can see the render image. Yeah, you can't see that I rendered out the image. That's that's annoying. That's fine though. It's fine. Oh, and now it pops up. That's how it looked. It's zoomed in. I'll just have the camera at a far enough distance to where it'll look good. Cuz oh I said it right there, the perspective, yeah, it's in millimeters. I, I don't measure things correctly as well. Mm. No, I'll keep it at its normal. Okay, well, rendering is really quick for my PC. That's pretty clear now, so I can close this out. Don't save. Uh, we can. I'm gonna check the folder real quickly because I, I really think I just added extra files that were not needed. Uh, final project mm, frames. Oh wow! Zero point three seconds. <laughs> it actually did download three seconds worth of frames. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just so zoomed into the tires or the wheels for some reason. I'll f I'll f I'll find out how to do it later. 
for now, we just have to build the actual place now. Which means I have to figure out how to do grass again. And I have to figure out how to make the plane look natural. Which means I have to watch the video again on how to make, um, what is it called? Dirt pave or something? Blender, uh, fall road, yeah, fall. It's like a fall terrain. A terrain that I don't technically need. Or do I? I don't know. I need it. Close, close. Uh, I'm just going to pop up the chat on the actual YouTube. Because this is getting annoying. Uh, pop up the channel. Chat. There we go. Close this. Oh, no. Nope actually close this so it doesn't eat up my PC right there, away with some... all right let's do the roads correctly what's up guys this is Steve here with another blender tutorial series 2.72 I think it'll still nice work fall dirt road scene. so this is a scene yep. that it took me a few days to put together and uh, it's very nice I'm very tutorial uh, don't mm, skip. So I'm gonna go, uh, don't need the default cube, so I'm gonna delete that, Kay. as well as the lamp. Okay. Alright, now, um, let's just get into doing the road, because that's the fun part. It's all fun, what am I saying? So I'm gonna go to side view, or right, or throw eagle. Three, side view, yep. You see up there, with number pad three. Shift A, add in a plane. Okay, shift A, add in a plane, obviously, just like you said. Scale it along. S Y Probably that big. So you can see it's scaling out there, and if we go to the top view, you can see they have that. What? And uh, there's our basic group. Now, um, it's going to have to be a bit wider than that, so I'm going to tab into edit mode. Um, first of all, I'm going to cut it uh, multiple times. Uh, I'm going to go with nine cuts. Okay, so edit mode, and then I have to. I'm going to remove the grid real quickly because it's getting annoying. Whoops. Uh, where's the grid? Grid is over here. Remove. It's not being removed. Um, grid? It's floor. Grid. Okay. It's floor now. For some reason, the grid is now considered a floor. Interesting. That has to be, <laughs> that has to be the new Blender update, because that's weird. <laughs> Alright. So he wants it cut nine times, so I'm going to go edit mode, shift, uh, control R, and scroll wheel. That is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. W Why is he wanted to be subdivided? Give me a second. Okay. Subdivide. Huh? Oh, W and subdivide. Very good. Okay. Now um I'm gonna select the edges here. Box select this edge. Box Okay, so box select. Yeah, I'm stealing a tutorial. Or can I just download this? Because this would be so much more helpful. HDR. I don't think he allowed us to download the actual thing. Uh, you, you're still here, right? I think you're still here. I hope you're still here, because I have no idea how to fucking do some of this stuff. <laughs> it's like, it's like once you're out of class, it, 
it falls out of your mind. Like, I just give up after that type of deal. Uh, I'm just click 7 and do it. That's better. Yep. E, X, K, whoa, Y, they, what? Is it the, why is it? I think I am doing something wrong. Cause it's like, I think I'm doing this wrong because it's supposed to. Okay. Here. G. The Z axis. No. X axis. Just gonna do it like that. Okay. Okay. E. On the X axis. Okay. Just gonna leave it at that. It doesn't need to be perfect. And now I'm gonna go to front view and pull these down a bit. Scale on the X axis. Uh, front view. Oh boy, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, I hate making terrain. I really hate making freaking terrain, man. Like my head hurts. Turn on, Matthew. Turn on the light. Man, guys. Alright. I don't know how to do this. It's getting me kinda pissed. Kinda. I kinda just give up easily. Like, majorly easily. That's why I'd much prefer playing the games than actually building the games. <laughs> No offense to any of the people who actually create the video games. This is just a really fucking hard thing to do. No wonder why they rush video games and then slowly fix all the bugs within it. Okay, um, let's not do this. Alright, you know what? We're going to look it up. Blender, how to make a road. In Z axis, then scale it up sideways. Now in edit mode, add some loop cuts. Now add color to it. Then select the side faces. And assign a separate color to them. Hmm. Now select the middle faces and let's give them yellow color. Like half. Road and fire. Go to edit. For watching. If you are new here, consider subscribe. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Welcome to the let's do it exactly as that video says, okay? S Z. Okay. That's fine. Then scale it up Z no. Okay. S on the X axis. he have one two three four five six seven nine okay he doesn't really care how many he has
select the side faces and assign a separate color to them. All right, the last two. Okay, so I'm gonna go into render mode for this one, right? Because I think that's better. Um, so rendered mode. Now what I do is I go here to faces. Literally click. Good. Literally click all this as well. Good. Click. Click. I'm pretty sure this doesn't need to be colored in, but I will color it in anyways. Because why not? So, uh oh. oh okay. I thought I crashed. I'm like, oh no, PC! <laughs> Alright, uh, here. Go to new material. Click here. Material, we can name this one new. No, it can be road black, okay. And then I can change it to here. sign. Okay. That don't look that bad. That look okay for road color, I guess. Right? I hope. Potentially. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> oh, I hate myself, in a way. Mm, let's close that up again. Okay. Uh, I think it's the last two for him. It's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, so one, two, so boom. And then one, two, boom. Okay, we're gonna go new material. New, it's gonna be called Road White. Okay, then we go here. And we go all the way. This can be dropped. Okay. Uh, three and three. And then we can click on this and then click assign. And then that looks good for road color. I think. I mean, it's kind of great, but that's because there's no light. Uh, next. Should I just make the train go in a maze? I think I should make him go in a maze. I think it should. I think it really should go in a maze. Huh. I don't know what to do. Alright, the yellow is like, there's two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, so eighteen, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so one, two, right? Then dumb 
purple and then cancel these two and then we can make it a new color new call it road yellow okay and then we assign it a base color of yellow this I think all the way down and then that should be good and then assign yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good that is pretty good for a road I will not lie oof hmm I wonder what I can do now though because I gotta make this bigger somehow so now press shift plus a and under the curve select path to make it visible press tab key shift a hold on so Mode. now press shift plus a. Oh, okay go to object mode then shift a on the z-axis you know what 90 no you know what 0 enter ok z-axis is good y-axis we can put it at 90 nope 120 nope 1 180 And then the x-axis can go 90. What the hell? Zero? Okay. See, it's supposed to face this way. So that I can actually make the path, but it's not doing that, so I don't know why. Oh my god. I don't know why it's doing that. This is stressing me. Okay. This is the Y axis. So I go on the Y axis. So R ninety. What the hell, man? Zero. Okay. Y axis can be at ninety. Global 
Why is it current like this though? What the hell? Hold on. Like tab. To make it visible, press tab key. Scale it up. Yeah, but why is mine? I don't get why my thingy over here is. That should be good, but now I have to. Get why it's doing it like that. I, I just <laughs> Alright, guys. So I can't do this. What if I face this way? Okay. Now what if I shift A and then path, tab. Fuck it out, man. R on the Z. That should be good, right? Nope. Why is it not working now? It doesn't exist for this. You know what? Delete. Okay. okay click this. Press one. Okay.
there we go, and then this. That should work. Oh my f fucking hell, man! Like, come on. Why is it doing this? Oh, fuck yes. There we go. There we go. Oh, now we gotta scale it. Oh my god. Okay, S. Our scale is big as I want. Now select the road and add an array modifier. Okay, now select the road. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Oh, okay. Wait, but why is it? Okay. Now add a curve modifier. Oh my god, guys, I'm gonna freaking shoot myself. Like, this road is just annoying. If we're gonna do that again, we're gonna do it. I'm really about to take a break for like 20 minutes and just do it again. the video again guys Cause my brother don't shut up as well nope I'm gonna kill him gonna kill him gonna kill him guys okay okay gonna file or new general okay we're gonna go ahead S on the Z axis, K. K. Then scale it up sideways. S on the Y axis. K. Now in edit mode. K, which way did he move? How to make roads in Blender 2.8. Start by scaling down the cube in Z axis. Then scale it up sideways. Now in edit mode. Add some Okay, he moved over here. Now tab to edit mode. Control R. Can I add just a lot? Fuck it. Okay. Blue cuts. Now add color to it. Okay. Uh, a, this, new, road, black, right, okay, oh my god, I hate 
get this. Z, we've got a rendered, yeah, rendered. Okay. Next, we're gonna go one, two, three, oops, three, one, two, three. Yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow, I did that correctly again. I did not expect to do that correctly. Uh, let's do it again. So we're gonna go ahead and click one, two, then one, two, remove those. Right. And then I go ahead and go new, new, this, right, then a sign, okay, tab. Then select the side faces and assign a separate color to them. Okay. Select the middle faces and let's give them yellow color. Uh huh. Oh shit. <laughs> I mixed it up. Whoops. Okay. These are gonna be white. Why is it now called white road? Two are going to be white. I think it's supposed to be, yep. To see the effects, come to render mode. Yep. Now press shift plus A and under the curve, select tab. Tab, then go shift plus A, curve. Go to path. Mm -hmm. Visible, press tab key. Okay, now it works. Scale it up. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, you know what? I'll finish it. Fuck it. Now select the road and add in a remod. Okay, now select the road. Now select the road. The fire. Okay. Add modifier, okay. You can increase the length by changing the count value. What's this count? I count it as ten for right now. Now add a curve modifier. Add a curve modifier, right? Okay. Then and below, under the object, select NURBS. Object, NURBS, K. Path. Select NURBS path again from the top. K. Then go to edit mode. Go to edit mode, okay. Select any of the points and move them. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
That's pretty freaking cool. Well, now if I want to move them, I know what to do. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just file, save as, going to go to models, just going to go to road. See that. Okay. Now I gotta if I do this and then I command C, right? I go to file new general. Don't save. I delete control V. Will the path modifier still be there? The road color isn't there still. Why? Uh, oh wait, okay. Render. Oh, okay, it's still there. Cool. Then if I go here. A. Hey. Nerves. Then if I click on the nerve. Hey! I can have curved roads now. Hey! That's how you do it. That's pretty chill. Yeah. Hey, um, who's still here? Cause in the stream, cause I gotta go to the bathroom, and I just want to know who's here, and I need an opinion if that looks nice or if I should make my own color road. Cause I think maybe I should just make it my own color since it's my world. In my world, the perfect color road is not black, yellow, and white. It's more of a, like, um, it's more of a dirt looking color. Like, I like dirt roads, if I'll be honest. They're more entertaining. But this is a normal city road, you know. It's only 7.30. It's, it hasn't been that long, right? I've only been streaming for two hours now to make the road and the other objects really does take a long time to make things and it's not bad to take hours to build these things I mean it's worth the effort in the end because I mean you're making literally your 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 stuff your models things that you can sell and everything which is pretty nice I mean, this is a really good road right here, so I could just sell this model right now, and then people can use it, technically. <laughs> just like the YouTube video <laughs> says. Change it up, and you can sell it. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. That's another source of income, technically, if you really wanted to make more sources of income in your credit card. Well, there you go. That's how you make more income. Having people buy that road. No? Hmm. So, what I think I'll do now is I will attach the houses and make dirt. I will have like a plane and I'll just add dirt off of that plane, right? And then, um, and then I can make my world, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So I think I have my thing right here. Uh, what? That was the wrong one. Which one has my animations? Although the animation is not working. Or is it? Oh, it's working. Yes, it's working. They're popping up. Uh. <laughs> uh. No, I'll just put it as this one for right now. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll be back, guys. Don't worry. 
I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. So what I think I'll do guys is I'll end it here. I'll wait till 8 o'clock because 8 or 8.30 and then I'll start streaming again. And I will get back to making my world because I do want to take a break. I can't sit on this chair this all this time. It really, it hurts my legs. So, I mean my, my butt. So I'm going to end the stream here, especially since this is a two-hour stream. So um, peace out, y'all.